Welcome to day 2 of my A4R advent calendar. In this series of videos you can learn in 24 days how to program A4R 8-bit microcontrollers. So here is the paper bag for today, let's see what's in here. Ok, so this is our Atmega 88PA microcontroller and in today's video I will show you how to write and compile a first program for this microcontroller here. So let's start. First I will navigate into my A4R Advanced Calendars um, folder and here I have created a folder for our first program. So let's create our first program. And it will be very simple, it will be just a main function and I will start an empty loop in here and here I will return 0 but because of the empty loop I will never reach this return 0 statement here. But that's it, that's the first program, because the focus of today's video is how to compile this program to get it up and running on this microcontroller here. So let's create a new make file. And the first thing I will do is I will add some variables. So I add a variable for the frequency here, because we have to tell the compiler at which frequency um, the, we are using for this controller. And by default, the Mega 88 PA microcontroller has an 8 MHz internal oscillator and it divides this clock by 8, so the clock frequency the CPU is running is 100 or 1 MHz or 1 million Hz. So I will set this variable to 1 million. Then I have to specify the device for which I am compiling my code and this is an Atmega 88 p 8 microcontroller. So I think this second A tier stands for, that's, it, that's an 8-bit microcontroller, but I'm not 100% sure. But what I know for sure is this first A tier, this indicates the flash storage size. Because this microcontroller has a built-in flash memory, and, this, and for this microcontroller it's 8 kilobytes in size. So if you're lucky to have an Atmega 60 APA microcontroller, your controller has 16 kilobytes of storage, or 32 for 32 kilobytes, or 4 for 4 kilobytes. But I just have 8 kilobytes here, but it will be enough for the simple programs we are going to write. Then I have to specify the source files I want to compile, and here I only have main.c. And I will also um, I will also add the target, which I, so the name of the target, or the name of the compiled file, and here I will use hello. Okay, so let me f add a first compiling target, and for this compiling target I need the main.c file. So here I'm using the variable source. Okay, and I will use the A4R GCC for compilation. And I will set this minus O flag to set the optimization level. So if I want to optimize the code for speed so it runs as fast as possible, I will pass minus O3 here. If I want to optimize it for the size the compiled code takes inside the flash storage, I will use the S flag here. And because size is important here, I will use the minus O S flag. Okay. Then I have to specify the um, CPU we are using and here I will just pass my device variable here. Then I have to um, pass the frequency of the um, core and here I will use the frequency variable. Then I have to specify my input files which are stored in the source variables and the output file should be target.elf. So the benefit of using this variable is, if you want to change, for example, the device type, you just have to change it up here and not in your whole makefile if it's a little bit bigger. Okay, and another thing to mention is, the output file of this compiler is an ELF file. So what is an ELF file? Well, an ELF file is divided into multiple sections. Some sections, for example, contains the binary code for the microcontroller to run. And there is a header at the start of the ELF file which tells 
where to load each section into the memory space of the microcontroller. But the problem is, when we, we can't write an ELF file into the flash of the microcontroller, because the microcontroller expects that the flash um, content is in Intel hex format. So we need to convert this. And we can use A4R object copy for this. With the minus capital O flag, we say which output format you want to use, and I will use Intel hex here, so I hex. Then I have to specify my input and my output file. So the input file is um, hello.elf and the output file should be hello.hex. And as I already told you, we have an 8 kilobyte, um, 8 kilobyte flash memory on this microcontroller. And if you're interested in how much memory the um, our compiled program needs, we can use A4R size to um, figure this out. The format here is, yeah, which mic kind of microcontroller we're using. And we're using an, M an, M an A4R here. And then I have to specify the used CPU here. And then I will just paste my target.l file here. And this will give us information about the used code size. And I will add a clean target to clean up all the built files. And here I will um, remove target.elf and I will remove target.hex. Okay, so now let's try out our make file. So I will run make and it works. So here we have compiled the elf file. Here we have converted the elf file to an hex file. And here we get some information. So this, <laughs> our first little program only takes 80 bytes, which is about 1% of the available flash. So it will fit in perfectly fine. Okay, so this is how to compile a first sample program for the A4 microcontroller. And I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye.